yours. Thank you very much and welcome. My name is Oliver Leeds. I'm the co-founder and CEO of NanoCosmos. We are doing live video streaming for live games and um, I will show some insights and share some insights about uh, how to create engaging experiences based on live video streaming with real-time interaction. So let me share an example with, uh, based on a stage situation, which I'm here. So I'm on the stage. I want to tell you some information. I want to get questions and from you for, as an audience. And uh, that's also something which you want to do in, uh, in the internet space, yet you interact with an audience in the internet. Someone is on a stage or at the camera, wants to interact somehow, be able to get questions in and then be able to reply in real time. So that's the general approach and the situa situation we are working on. So you know, all know this um, kind of a bad experience when you are on the internet and try to play a video stream um, that starts uh, lagging and starts buffering and things like that, that creates an impact on the user experience of the live video. And that's what you want to avoid, especially in real time situations like for live gaming, when you have a live table and you want to somehow keep the quality of the live game up and running. So the general workflow um, is that you have a camera um, from the presenter side. You have um, someone who is uh, looking at the camera and doing something. It can be a stage or a live game. And you connect this camera to a setup in your local venue, which is called Live Encoder. You send this live stream out to the audience through the internet, so there will be a global network which is connecting to this to the stream and then delivered at the global scale to any device and player all around the world. So the ideally it plays everywhere, in, um, no matter where you are and where your audience is. You just open up the browser and be able to watch this uh, live video um, in any network and any browser with the highest possible quality. Um, some examples for use cases, as I said, it could be stage-based or um, it could be a live game or a sports event. Okay. Sorry. Is that better now? I hope so. Thank you. Um, any kind of live event could be a sports event or a live casino game uh, where the camera is put and you want to send that out to the internet with the highest quality. You have not only the video technology, which you need to take, take care about, but the global scale. So it needs to be a global uh, CDN. Um, all needs to be in real time, which means uh, the latency between the camera and the viewers needs to be very low, as low as possible, to keep up the real time interaction. And um, things like additional uh, tools like security, protection against misuse, you want to keep your content protected against uh, attacks and uh, hijacking, especially in the gaming space, to avoid any kind of misuse by other parties. Um, the stream needs to be adaptive. That means that when you are in a bad network situation, you should still have a live stream, even if the quality goes down. When you, you are in a good network, you want to have the highest possible quality, so you might want, dependent on your requirements, send out a full HD live stream of the highest possible quality, and the system needs to adapt automatically to these conditions where the audience is sitting. So it can be changing also during the play, like um, changing from Wi-Fi to, to a mobile network, which then needs to reduce the quality to keep the live stream up and running, um, even in the bad network. Yeah, different, um, different use cases I mentioned. Um, could be the event-based scenarios. Um, I mentioned like someone is on a stage, but also the monetized things, with what I mentioned could be live auctions, live betting, a live casino, but also web-based applications like um, live shopping, which create a monetized revenue stream based on your live content, which you want to keep up and running and um, create engaging audiences around your business workflows. That's uh, a couple of tools we also provide for our system, which are mandatory to provide um, the highest possible quality. We are also adding um, new things like AI-powered uh, live captions, but also other tools to improve the video quality of the live stream. There are a lot of uh, opportunities also for you as a, as a vendor to create new kinds of experiences and new innovations 
for your gaming experience or your betting experiences based on these technologies. So they need to be very robust. So you, need, you can rely on the video technology and you can focus on building an application around that which monetizes your video content. That's the example I mentioned, live caption. So that's not um, always required for um, betting and gaming, but for an example, just to share what um, artificial intelligence can do. So it can do a live transcript, as I'm speaking now, would do a live transcript to text or live translation into another language to share with the audience and make that available as a text stream. Um, Metrics and analytics to get more insight into the quality of service are very important. So to keep, uh, get insight and get, create some more business intelligence. So you see in which region of the world you have the best out outreach, um, the highest quality possible, maybe also some possible issues. And you can identify things where you can grow your audiences and maybe also um, change the configuration or um, add some services on top of that. Part of the monitoring on metrics and analytics is also in the monitoring part where you get information about the quality of the stream you're sending. For example, if I'm here at the venue or you have a live casino which is somewhere remote and not directly in your office, you need to take care about the, the internet connection between the camera and the internet is very good and keeps up a good um, stable network for sending the highest possible video quality out. Um, that is something you can measure in, in, uh, so that you can get metrics from the live streaming platform. You can see is the stream stable which you are sending out or is that something which you need to adjust on your end. So that there is a bit technology expertise required to configure the camera and the encoder and the right con configuration and setup. But then you get some metrics and insights about how, how good the quality of this live video will be for your audience. Some background about Nanocosmos and me. Um, I founded the company in 1998, so we celebrated 25 years in the business now and uh, built up the live streaming platform a couple of years ago. I have a lot of customers in the iGaming space. We are experts in video, video technology only, so we don't do any gaming um, logic. We really focus on getting the video stream delivered around the globe. and. Um, that's something we do for a couple of years. We just received also uh, industry awards at the IBC show in Amsterdam a couple of days ago where we were recognized as a leading provider for video streaming technology. So that's something we promise and you can rely on to have a robust stream uh, for the highest possible user experience. Um, as I said, it's not only about the technology, it's really something about um, creating the best user experience for anyone who is using the system. So that means basically your customers in the end need, need to be happy and ha need to have 100% successful live streams. And um, that's something you need to take care of and have the right tools and um, technologies available to make that visible and somehow then um, provide the service at the level you want to achieve. Yeah, that's basically it. I wanted to show um, also some further examples um, which are not in these slides, so maybe that were the wrong slide deck here, but I can mention them, that based on these new technologies like AI and AR, there are also applications um, coming, um, even in large-scale applications, like for example, Amazon Prime Video is now doing um, football transmission uh, based on AI, also supported by AI tools, so for the, for the NFL. They add some information about live um, detection of the players in the video stream. They add some statistics on where the ball is thrown and uh, which um, possibility is where uh, about the, the, the game results. And that's things which are also already um, being done in live betting. So there are sports tournaments where you can add bets to, which are supported by artificial intelligence and also augmented reality. Um, for example, we have uh, seen uh, things like just a simple table tennis tournament where the ball is tracked and the um, track of the ball is shown on the screen as additional graphics elements. You will create some aggregated statistics based on these uh, events which you see on the 
on the sports event and then you can bet on these statistics and uh, also monetize these additional elements which are created by uh, augmented reality and additional graphics overlays. So there's a lot of new opportunities also creating innovations and new types of applications um, which can connect to your creativity. So you, are, you have the tools and technologies in your hand to create new kinds of games and betting experiences and um, combine them in the right way uh, for new um, customer segments and new business opportunities. So I want to learn more about what we do and how we can integrate that into the betting gaming environment. Then you can visit us here at the booth. Um, it's uh, SB74, maybe more like uh, on the other corner of the hall. And um, yeah, learn more about how that works and how that can be integrated. Let me see, I have more to show. Oh, that's, that's it basically. So I'm open to further questions and uh, answer your questions if you have. All right, thank you very much. Can you put me on? Uh, yeah, thank you. If, if, can you bring it to him? Because otherwise, otherwise the, the, the speaker box will not... Uh... <laughs>